Good evening. It's Monday, October 17th, 2016. I'm Paula Degnan, in for Ann Gownley. A moped rider was severely injured when hit by a car early this afternoon in Hazleton. The accident happened at North Church and West Broad Streets in the downtown area. Hazleton City Police say both the moped and vehicle involved sustained heavy damage. No information has been released on the driver of the vehicle. Anyone who may have seen the crash or have any information is asked to contact the Hazleton City Police Department at 570 45 9-4940. Hazelton police still looking for a missing person. 29-year-old Nelson Nunez Sanchez was last seen on Saturday. Police say he may be driving a gray 2005 Honda Civic with Massachusetts license plate number 674VF1. If you see him or the vehicle, you're asked to contact Hazleton Police or Luzerne County 911. Hazleton Police investigating an alleged attempted abduction. A woman told police she was walking with her toddler in a stroller last night near Broad in Wyoming when a man approached and asked her the gender of the baby. When she didn't answer, the man grabbed the handles of the stroller from the woman. She yelled, the man let go, and was last seen running north on Wyoming. Neither the woman or child were injured. The man, described as a Hispanic male with a thin build, wearing a red hoodie, red pants, black gloves, and an orange winter hat. Hazleton City Police are investigating and say patrols have been increased. Investigators say it started with an argument, then shots, and a man was killed. Police are still looking for a suspect. It happened last night just after 8 at the Sherman Hills apartment complex in Wilkesbury. After an autopsy today, it was determined 32-year-old Victor Grandy died of a gunshot wound to the chest. The New York man's death, a homicide. Witnesses say there were several people in the area at the time of the incident. Anyone with information is asked to contact Wilkes-Barre Police. The two candidates running for the state U.S. Senate seat met today for the first of their two debates. Republican incumbent Pat Toomey and Democratic challenger Kathleen McGinty taped the debate earlier today in Pittsburgh at the KDKA TV studios. The debate is available on the KDKA website. The second debate between the two will be held one week from tonight in Philadelphia. Commonwealth Court, meanwhile, has ruled Senate candidate Kathleen McGinty has to release more emails from her time as Governor Wolf's chief of staff. The Pennsylvania Republican Party sued to try to force the release of all of them. The court has not agreed but ordered her to release more than she wanted. McGinty's camp has 30 days to comply, meaning the compliance date is after Election Day. So far, 71 pages of 15,000 have been released. After years of hard work and preparation, the official ribbon-cutting ceremony of the Weatherly Library was held over the weekend. WILN's Abby Piskel has the details. A once worn down building has been transformed into something for the whole community to use. The Weatherly Library was officially opened with a ribbon cutting ceremony this past Saturday with the whole public invited to attend. Carbon County Commissioner Tom Gerhardt says that this is great to see all of the hard work pay off and the library is something that the community will be able to enjoy for years to come. We purchased the building in August of 2014 from the uh, Carbon County Econ Economic Development Corporation uh, and I actually laughed at my wife. Uh, we made him an offer of $25,000. Uh, it was a bowling alley, a shoe factory, um, many different things happened here. The uh, building was sitting idle and today as you walk through uh, you'll see the uh, remarkable job that we did here, the renovations that we've done here, probably in excess of a quarter of a million dollars. But uh, it would have been a building that would have been sitting vacant uh, and been going to waste. Uh, we were able to purchase it for a great price and turn it into a, a remarkable, remarkable project uh, that's going to benefit the uh, Weatherly community. 
The building was previously owned by the Carbon Chamber of Economic Development, and Economic Development Director and avid reader Kathy Henderson says that the building turned into a beautiful structure and she's excited for the community. I have always been an avid reader all of my life. I love libraries, I love books, I could spend my entire life in a library reading books. Libraries are extremely important for our young people to give them a place to go, to learn, to enjoy the uh, world of books, and this place, um, they needed one badly in weather. So um, we felt that this was a beautiful option for this building and in the process we could help not just the library itself but also the community and have a place for them to come and, and learn and read and just enjoy books. Opening a book and reading through the words on the pages can provide readers with a wealth of knowledge and entertainment. Not only is the library a great place to find new reads, but it will also benefit the Weatherly School District as well. As a district, we'd love to be part of, of whatever's happening here with the library and uh, certainly more exposure for our students and their families to, to come here and take advantage of, of everything they offer here would, would be great for us. Mayor of Weatherly Tom Connors invites everyone to come and see the new library and hopes that it will be enjoyed by all. Come down and see our library. Everybody's welcome and uh, I, I know you'll love the experience. For WILN News, I'm Abby Piskel. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Some warmer temperatures in our viewing area today and is it true about tomorrow? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with the details. Joe? Yeah, definitely uh, very spring-like across our area, even though we are officially in the season of fall. Feeling pretty good out there yet. If you didn't get a chance to enjoy today's weather, it even gets better as we head into tomorrow and even the day after tomorrow, looking pretty good across our area. I'll explain with the seven-day forecast coming up in just a few. Paula. Thank you, Joe. Coming up next, the American Cancer Society Hazleton Chapter will be hosting two fundraising events. Plus, it's Medical Monday here on WILN. We'll hear from Ting O oh of Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in Hazleton. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DeBerardinas and John Eric Poli. And weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. It's Oktoberger. The sale's so big they named a month after it. At Burger Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Route 93 Hazel Township. It's Oktoberger and you can save $11,000 on select Ram 1500. Save $7,000 on this Cherokee Limited. Save $6,000 on this 2017 Dodge Journey. It's the Jeep celebration event at Ram Power Days. At Burger Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Route 93 Hazel Township. Burger family dealerships drive with the this is Count Dracula. Fear Grove is a haunted attraction in Zion's Grove. <laughs> Take the haunted hayride through the fields and the woods and brave the mazes and the sinister shadows. <laughs> Walk through the maze filled with my sinister creature friends. Be prepared to face your worst fears, especially me, because I will bite your neck at the Grove. 412 Miller's Road, Zion's Grove. Weatherwood is a privately owned 200 bed nursing and rehabilitation center in the quiet town of Weatherly, Pennsylvania. The rehab center offers the highest level of personalized care for your therapy experience. Whispering Meadows is a 50 bed secure dementia unit in our facility. Weatherwood also offers Medicare certified home health care services within the community, including therapies, skilled nursing, and certified nursing assistants. Whether you need short term, long term, or respite stay, call or stop by for a tour. 570-427-8683. The Greater Hazleton Chapter of the American Cancer Society will be hosting two fundraising events. WILN's Gary Perna has more. Well, the American Cancer Society is always around the Greater Hazleton area and always around everywhere, and they really need your help to make sure we fight against cancer. Jane Doherty joining me on the co-chairs. Um, and of course, before we start talking about the pasta dinner, I have to mention we are T minus what, three months, four months away from the yes, telethon, we're getting close. Um, which we're all um, very excited to happen once again. And of course, WYLN is 
glad, glad to be a part of it. We've been having ACS meetings and we're getting yeah. everything going. So uh, stay tuned. We have lots to talk about the telethon in, in coming uh, days here. But Jean, we're going to talk about uh, the annual pasta dinner, which is being held. Uh, and it's coming up this weekend. So yes. uh, don't make any plans for Sunday. Uh, what can people expect and where can they go? This is a fundraiser for our telethon. It is a pasta dinner being held at the Tresco Hosey. Mm -hmm. That's the social club for the Tresco firefighters. It's on Sunday, October 23rd from 12 to 5. It's all you can eat. There will be delicious homemade pasta and meatballs, uh, salad, bread, desserts, tricky trays, 50-50 tickets, lots of good information. And the tickets are available by calling 570-459-1212. They're $8 for adults and $5 for children. We will take walk-ins. Walk-ins are welcome. Reservations appreciated, though. And the pasta dinner is just one of the many fundraisers throughout the year to benefit the American Cancer Society for the telethon and, of course, uh, uh, the great day that we have with the telethon. And, uh, Jean, why is it so important for people to come out to support the American Cancer Society uh, at events like the pasta dinner? Well, everyone's been touched by cancer, Gary. Everyone, whether you have a friend or a family member. We recently lost uh, one relative of a telethon committee member last week, and just on Saturday we learned that one of our own committee members had mm -hmm. passed away, both from cancer. We need to fight this dreadful disease and find a cure for it, and we need money to do that. And one of the other many events that will be coming up uh, to benefit is a Sinatra night, which is a night many people have been looking forward to for a while now. Um, so talk to us about this great event that will be going on, of course, all benefits the American Cancer Society yes. as well. This is a new event for us, and it's thanks to the generosity of Chris Pavlik, a local young man who's a fabulous singer. He's been helping us at the telethon for many years, a good volunteer for the ACS, and he is particularly fond of Frank Sinatra. And so he has agreed to do a tribute to Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an evening on Saturday, December 10th at the Pines, the Pines Eatery downtown. There'll be a wonderful buffet, lots of fabulous food, and Chris will be singing Frank Sinatra music all evening. That's from 6 to 9 p.m. on Saturday, December 10th, and reservations also by calling 570-459-1212. The famous phone number. And of course, uh, all that information by calling the number for the pasta dinner, or the Sinatra night, and of course you can see any one of the American Cancer Society executive members uh, always around throughout the community. So uh, if you have any questions, you can let them know. And Jane, of course, again, very important to support the American Cancer Society, making strides against cancer research to yes. one day that we don't have to sit here and talk about exactly. it. Exactly. We hope we don't have a telethon one day. One day. All right. Jane, thanks so much for coming in. Stay Thank with you. us here on WILA News. More is coming your way right after this. At All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, you not only get the vehicle that you want, you also get the lowest financing options. We also deliver unmatched service. Whether you're in need of a work truck, have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. It's the Ram Power Days and Jeep Celebration event. Stop in today. Personal cancer care is close to home. The Cancer Treatment Center at Hazleton has been providing radiation therapies to cancer patients for 30 years. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer and need radiation therapy and would like to learn more about our treatments, let our compassionate, experienced team of experts help you. No reason to travel out of town for same services that are only minutes away from your home. The Cancer Treatment Center at Hazleton. 1701 East Broad Street in Hazleton. Close to home. Oh, definitely a nice day across our area, northeastern Pennsylvania. Beautiful, great day to be outdoors. Take advantage of it while it lasts because these days are definitely short-lived as we are officially in fall and to see temperatures in the uh, 70s like this, well, enjoy it. 
because we may not get many more of those. Maybe this is the last we're going to see until next year. Hopefully not, but we'll keep you posted on it. But overall, just a nice day to be outdoors today. If you didn't get a chance to enjoy today's weather, well, tomorrow is even looking better across our area. On to the numbers for the day. And, well, you can see for yourself, we're still hanging out near 70 degrees. And uh, since the midnight hour, well, there you can see uh, 12 hundredths of an inch of uh, precipitation in the rain bucket. But today was just picture perfect to do just about anything you wanted outdoors. How did we do temperature wise for the day? Well, we did get into the lower 70s, 71 and 57 to split in temperatures. And we did get a wind gust only coming in at 14 miles per hour. Not only is it nice across our area, but the entire state of Pennsylvania, temperatures generally remaining in the 70s, even some lower 80s down by Philadelphia where it is just plenty of sunshine. Anyway, you go throughout the state of Pennsylvania, again, temperatures 70s to lower 80s, and tomorrow, a couple of degrees warmer than what we've experienced today. And those winds, really not much of a factor. For the most part, generally uh, under five miles per hour or so, so we don't have to worry about the winds whatsoever. But you do have to worry about those warmer temperatures. It's going to be nice the next couple of days and it won't be till the ending part of this week when we start to see a cool down going into the weekend. Extended forecast looking like this. A lot of sunshine for tomorrow. Still a chance of some of that fog out there early in the morning about 77 degrees. Mix of sun and clouds for Wednesday still looking good in the 70s. Now Thursday gets a little bit cooler but near 70 degrees we'll take it for this time of year. By Friday though that's where we're going to start to see some showers around and that's going to bring in that cooler weather about 60 degrees and then after that well we're back to typical fall weather for Saturday Sunday and Monday we're going to be looking at temperatures generally in the 50s but before that even some of those overnight lows near 60 degrees not doing too bad but take advantage of it while it lasts because eventually we'll be back into the 30s and lower 40s for overnight low temperatures well more for you coming up after this break. Minutes away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 19 minutes from Scranton, 15 minutes from Wilkesbury, 12 minutes from Old Forge, 18 minutes from Mountaintop, and 28 minutes from Berwick. Barber Ford in Exeter and Barber Ford in Hazleton. Start your new car search today at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. John's Family Restaurant in the Churchill Mall. Enjoy a full menu with all homemade food. From breakfast, soups, sandwiches, entrees, and desserts. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner specials. The food is great, the price is right. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Connects janitorial service, carpet cleaning, tile, linoleum, hardwood floor refinishing. Also, office and home cleaning for dependable service. Call Connects Janitorial Service, 570-788-2748. Is Medical Monday here on WILN. This week, Ting O oh tells us about personal trainers. Ting O, oh, take it away. Okay, so exercise can go a long way in helping you deal with health and fitness issues. Um, for example, if you want to lose weight, um, if you have problems with blood pressure, diabetes, or um, cardiovascular problems. Of the people that do start an exercise program, only around about 20% succeed in achieving their goals. Of those 20%, around about 80% actually work with a coach of some sort. So today we have with us our physical coach. His name is Brad Beloga right here. Um, he's a graduate of Bloomsburg University um, in exercise science and he's here to help uh, share with us a little bit about what personal training can do to help you. So Brad, why is it that personal trainers or people that do work with personal trainers have so much success in achieving their fitness goals? 
The reason why people achieve so much with personal trainers is because you have a friend with you when you're mm -hmm. trying to achieve a goal. Uh -huh. The best way I can relate that to people is if someone decides to go shopping and they take a friend with them, they have someone that has a similar interest and uh -huh. can help them make decisions. Uh -huh. um, when it comes to personal training, um, the trainer, a good trainer, uh -huh. will be there for you. They will dedicate their time to you and they will help make decisions for you, uh -huh. whatever's right for you, and uh, meet your needs and uh, essentially program uh -huh. the exercise to help improve you to the best of your ability. And I know you can do that because we call them uh, user-friendly around here. <laughs> so for the people out there that, um, that are looking to start an exercise program, um, what, what, is it, um, what would you be your recommendations in terms of what to watch out for in, uh, in, in an exercise program? When people start exercising with, um, without proper knowledge or mm -hmm. guidance, the most obvious but real answer would be that they could potentially get hurt. Mm -hmm. Um, aside from that, people may start off too strong or think they might be able to do more than what they can. Mm -hmm. But besides for the physical aspect, um, if you start off too strong, you might hurt your confidence and mm -hmm. uh, be weary to try again. Let's say someone is looking for a personal trainer out there. Is there something they should be looking for when they're looking for a personal trainer? Um, when it comes to looking for a personal trainer, you should probably find someone who has experienced a lot of the exercises or programs that you'll be looking into. Uh, also, look for someone who has spent a lot of their time learning about exercise. Uh, when it comes to schooling, we learn about how to uh, program for all sorts of populations. Uh, people who may have injuries, people who may be above the average, like athletes, uh, we learn about it all. Um, and we do that by doing a full body assessment in the beginning. So it's called the body cue, and it gives us all of your strengths and maybe some things you may need to work on. Mm -hmm. And that way you can customize it to their needs, excellent. Um, so uh, let's say some, some clients out there are interested in, in learning more or uh, coming to work with you. Um, what should they do? If people are interested in finding a personal trainer, a good personal trainer, they could contact us mm -hmm. at Physical Therapy and Balance Centers at 570-501-1808. Okay, excellent. So for the people out there who are thinking about starting an exercise program, but may be afraid because you think you might hurt yourself, which we unfortunately deal with a lot in physical therapy, um, give us a call and Brad is going to be uh, here to help you out. And don't forget that the first personal training session is absolutely free. Call Physical Therapy and Balance Centers for a free 20-minute question and answer session. 501-1808. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, 1324 North Church Street in Hazel Township, or visit them online at hazeltonpt.com. Northeast Gold and Silver inside the Churchill Mall is paying cash for gold and silver. Top dollar for silver coins, national currency, fine and sterling flatware. Stop in or call them at 570-497-4177. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Join me, Erin Harvey, every Tuesday and Thursday for a special series here on WYON News. I will talk with survivors to hear their stories, along with medical specialists to learn how to treat, beat, and prevent breast cancer. Not much joy in the Hazleton football season so far. Friday, there was hope that a long trip to Mount Joy, PA, for a matchup with Donegal would change that. Cougars coach Mike Brennan has continuously told us on Sports Talk that getting off to quick starts and scoring first is key. This, the opposite of that. Sparky Walk blitzed, blindsided, and blown up as the Indians forced the fumble on the game's first drive. Then they're inside the five. Cameron Ellis, untouchable, 7-0 Kelly Green. Right before the half, Adrian Otero bottled up in the backfield, but not as a receiver. He wants that ball more. The contested grab for six, and we're even 
at the break. Third quarter, Hazleton continues to chuck it around, but here, Siler Edwards steals it from David Smith. The interception setting up the Indians nicely. From there, it's Ellis again. He finds the end zone. But that's followed by a scoop and score, an 80-yard touchdown reception, both from David Smith. So Donegal's last chance, Sparky Wolk on the other side of an INT. Backtrack pick, and that will do it. Hazleton finally in the win column, 20 to 14, is the final. Now we move to our game of the week. Crestwood hosting Hanover. Here the Comets get six plus two. First Lance Bloss from close, then Jeff Passman. And lots of goal line highlights. Second quarter, same deal for the Hawkeyes. Taheem Taylor gets the touchdown, and then Taheem Taylor gets the two-point conversion. Before the half, Sean Coleman breaking free to the house, but Bloss tallies 325 yards on the ground, and Crestwood claims it 28 to 20. We move to the week eight scoreboards. Valley West goes down two touchdowns to start, but they go on to put up 48 on a tough Berwick defense and route to victory. Northwest edges a depleted GAR squad. Williamsport responds well following their first loss with another impressive offensive showing versus Coughlin. Pittston squeaks by Nanticoke for their second win of the season. Wyoming area cruises past Dallas. Myers back in the 3A playoff picture, beating bigger school Tonkanic. And on Saturday, Lake Lehman bullies Holy Redeemer for their third straight W. And in the Schuylkill League, Blue Mountain with a nice bounce back road victory over North Schuylkill. Minersville with a late game pick to take down Monoy. Panther Valley wins the first quarter, but Schuylkill Haven dominates the rest of the way. Jim Thorpe airs it out more than usual to beat Tamaqua. Marion Catholic rides a 28 point first quarter into a blowout of Shenandoah Valley, and Pottsville fights through injuries to El Lastly Heighten and remain the league leader. That's it for sports. Stay tuned. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Sal's Septic Service for cesspools and septic tank cleaning and Marola's Garage for car and truck inspection and repairs. If it has wheels, Marola's can fix it. Call Sal's Septic and Marola's Garage at 570-956-4782. Going into tomorrow, it does look really nice across our area. Mid to upper 70s, many areas will be in the uh, lower 80s. A little bit cooler, but still nice for Wednesday, 73. It's still nice, a little cooler for Thursday, 67. And then by Friday, some showers come into play. 60 degrees will do it. And then finally, unfortunately, by the weekend, going into next week, we're back to the fall weather once again, only in the 50s for daytime high temperatures. But next couple of nights, not bad, but eventually we're going to be back into the 30s to near 40 degrees for some of those overnight low temperatures so enjoy it while it lasts i'm not going to say it's officially going to be the end of that weather because we've you, you know as well as i know we've already seen even in november we've seen some warm weather yes and we've also seen some pretty nasty snowstorms oh, we've for seen, halloween it, it, yeah too. for october yes absolutely. we have and is there is it true that there might be a record oh, tomorrow very well, in warmer locations yeah yeah okay and how about baby pens there you go. Start the season yeah, strong. That's nice to hear. Six to two oh. right on Saturday. All right. And they'll be up again this Saturday. Yep. Right? Okay. Back at home. Start the season with three straight home games. So, so, so we go from ice that. to heat. A little high school football mixed in. And everything else in between. You have yourself a great rest of the evening. Join us again real soon.